once you find the tip make sure it's straight we're going to use a hot air gun to take off the chip so what we'll do is we'll start it up let it warm up once it's heated up we're going to face it straight onto the chip so that it gives direct heat onto the chip and the connections which makes it easier for them to loosen up so that we can take the chip off make sure not to touch any of the components on the sides as they will slide off you have to be really careful with this give it a light lift as you're heating it and once you feel it lift off just carefully place it on the side Tip one. Tip one is always the bottom left of the writing. Another thing you want to do is you want to label anywhere on the board which way the chip fits straight because if you fit it upside down that will cause you a lot of problems later on. The machine we're using for this is called Dash Fixer. plug dash fixer with the power supply go for the BMW menu and one series and dashboard because we're doing the dashboard first we'll go for manual and that shows you what you need to do it says remove the dashboard and disassemble it we've done that already it says find the EEPROM type M35080 and we've taken the chip off and we're going to connect the MPLEX for the speedometer cluster for the dashboard we're going to use the 35 slash 95 board connect clip to port M35080 that one we'll do after I've showed you the full manual. And the clip we're using is the 8 pin clip reader. Carefully put the chip inside the clip, make sure it doesn't fly out of your hand, holding it firmly. And it says to watch for pin 1. Pin 1, as I've mentioned before, is the bottom left and you need to watch for the red wire which is pin 1 and make sure you get that on the right place press program and let the machine read the EEPROM that's connected right now the data is showing now is the mileage and all of the EEPROM data if you press C minus it shows you the mileage in miles before pressing C minus it was showing in kilometers first thing you want to do is save it so that you have a backup of the original data in case anything goes wrong in any of the programming or in case you lose the chip save the file name 
to anything that is best for you so that you can remember it and find it if needed later. First attempt is to try and change the mileage on the chip. So we'll input the new mileage. It says working, so it's trying to change the mileage. This process takes the mileage down to zero. And the machine has frozen. When that happens, that means the chip cannot be programmed. So you have to change the chip and put a new one. Mostly what you get with the BMW chips especially is that you can't program them. So you always have to change them. This is why we create a backup before so that we can get the rest of the EEPROM data onto a new chip and we can change the mileage there. And we're going to get a new chip that's not been programmed before. Once you've got the new chip out of the packet, you need to mark chip 1 again. You can plug the chip into the clip once again so that you can read it. Go back on the BMW and one series and then onto the dash and select program so that you can read the chip. If it's showing FFFF all around, it means that it's read the chip and FF basically means blank. So there's no data on it at the moment. We're going to press load and select the file that we saved earlier with the data of the same car. And now we're going to go on edit, click the little icon with the books on it for more options and click on write. This will save the data from the previously taken off EEPROM onto this chip. Now you can press back and read the chip again and this time you can see all of the data is different that means that the file has been written successfully if you remember correctly from before it was taking the mileage onto zero and at the moment it's showing the old value is zero so now we're going to add the new value of what we need to put it at Press OK and it will show working with the loading bar on the bottom and that says data equal once it's completed. Data equal means that it's been written properly and everything is fine but just to double check we're going to read again. And with the C minus selected is showing the correct mileage that we just input in. So that is ready, we can press back and start to disassemble all of this and assemble the cluster again. We can take the chip out of the clip, separate the clip wire from the board, the board from the MPLEX and then the MPLEX from the machine. Now it's time to put the chip back on. What you want to do is put some flux paste onto the board where the chip will sit. This will help to make sure that the chip doesn't slip or slide around and you can get the connections in where you want it to be. Place the chip perfectly onto the connections where it has to go. Make any delicate adjustments that you need to. 
you want to get it as neat as possible and now you need to turn the hot air gun on Once it's warmed up enough it will reconnect to the board by itself mostly and that's a good thing because you can make sure the chip doesn't move we're using the blade just to make sure that the chip doesn't move but you can use any prying tool just to give it a slight nudge and that will ensure if the chip is secure or not Now we're going to use, warm up the soldering iron. Put a bit of paste on the iron. And some soldering wire. touch up on all of the points of the chip so that you can have a good clean connection and there's no mistakes in this process it's really vital that none of the connections touch between each other Make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads. Thank you.